Very good. I was surprised how good we were. I, I think having the fans back in the ground, the, the sort of desire, the determination and the passion was there, which I've not seen for a while from a Spurs side. It looked like it disappeared, but uh, reminded everyone that we are still a very good football club with very good players. So um, it was a brilliant performance. You know, we sat in, soaked up pressure. I thought Man City were poor, if I'm honest. I thought they were sort of very sort of lacklustre, um, <laughs> quite slow with their play. Um, lackluster. Lackluster. Yeah. yeah, I just I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't feeling the way they play. They they're missing a striker. I can't believe Man City have n not mm. started the season with a striker. They're the champions of the Premier League, and they just I looked at the front and I just thought Ferran Torres, yeah, good player. He looks all right, but he's still young. <laughs> but I just uh, Grealish slowed things down. He was had showed some nice touches on the ball, gets in nice pockets, but. Didn't get beyond. I look, I look at Man United, Bruno Fernandes, three goals, getting beyond, making things happen. I feel like they lacked that a little bit, Man City. It was all too slow and boring to watch. So uh, it was it was a great performance from Spurs, but disappointing from Man City. Yeah, I think you're right, mate. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at Manchester City, and we were talking earlier on, a lot of people's favourites to, to retain the title. But see, looking at them, Jamie, I, I just think, and I know they've got away with, when I say get away with it before, they won the title with a kind of out, without an out and out number nine goal scorer. Yeah. I don't think they'll do it this year because, and the main reason for that is, I think the quality of opposition has Absolutely. improved. Yeah, yeah, I, that's the, the biggest thing for me, Ali. Was I said at the start of the the pandemic when we all of a sudden we weren't allowed fans in the ground, Man City will be the best team to play without fans because they will soak up pressure, they'll demoralise teams yeah. just by keeping the, keep ball. the ball. And when there's no fans to get behind the team to be like, come on, dig in and see it through. It's, it, it, it become really hard. That's why they run away with it. Now, all of a sudden, the fans are back. You saw it yesterday with Spurs when you got in front. The fans are behind you. Every tackle, every challenge they're going for, they're winning the 50-50s. You know, the place is rocking. And that makes it a lot more difficult for Man City to keep that possession play. And now, as last season, teams fell apart. Liverpool weren't good enough. The injuries cost them. Man United weren't quite there. They needed another season to sign the players that they needed to. And Chelsea... You know, we're, we're playing catch up, so like they they run away with it this season. All yeah. them teams are in it, like Absolutely. they are there. Like Man Man United now have got the team. Whether they've got the manager is another thing, but they've got the team. Chelsea have got the team, yeah, and Liverpool are back. So it is going to be really interesting to see how this pans out. How many teams do you think are in the title race? Four. Mm. Mm -hmm. And we know who those four are. Well, I, I, look, I'm, the question marks out for me on Manchester United. They were brilliant. I have to say, I thought they were fantastic against Leeds. Leeds were shocking defensively, but we know that happens with them. They fall apart. But what's oh. interesting for me is when Ole Gunnar Solskjaer gets to the end of the season, when there's 10 games left, that's where the genius managers get it right. You can do it up until then. You put yourself in the position. But when you get to that last moment, you know, when it gets to sort of February... That's when it matters. That's where the manager makes a big difference. What did you make of Jack's debut, Jack? Ray, uh, Jack Ray I thought he done okay. I thought he mm. played okay. Mm. He didn't really. He didn't give the ball away. Um, he moved it nice. When he gets it, gets he's so comfortable on the ball. Um, but it, I just thought maybe a couple of times holds on to it a little bit too much. Can he? Can he? I, would, I, I go back to Man United. Uh, like, for, uh, Pogba when he got the ball. On the half term, bang, put mm. someone in. Every time, half term, put someone in. That was some performance. For yes, him, wasn't it? it was an incredible performance. But I just feel like that sometimes with, with, with Grealish, he gets it. That, he moves it, moves it. But can he put someone in? Can he, can he stick someone through the lines? And maybe that's, you know, he wasn't getting the runs and people, and people weren't getting around him enough. But yeah, it, was, it was an okay performance, his debut. So You, you feel like if anyone's going to train that into him, it'll be Pep, won't it? In terms of not hanging on to it for too long. Yeah, there was a few times where um, he was standing like in the left-back position and getting the ball and just passing. And I'm thinking, Pep ain't going to have that. You, he's, he will get on top of that straight away. You don't need him there. Um, question for both of you really quickly before we break. Um, will City get Kane? Will they get him? And if they, they don't, to. if they don't get him... Are they going to have someone else lined up or are they going to do another season without a, a, a proper striker? I, if they don't get Kane, they don't win the Premier League. I, I, I don't think they do because I look at the team and I think everyone else is, is now caught up with them in terms of the teams that they've got. So they, ha they you can't get away with not having a proper number nine up front. It, it, it saw you, you could see it yesterday. They weren't just not good enough to um, score enough goals. They need to sign Harry Kane. 
Um, disappointing for us in Spurs if he does go. I'll be gutted. Mm. But I want. I, we, you can see that Spurs can cope without him. We can cope without Harry Kane. Spurs are bigger than Harry Kane. So if he goes, the club will move on. We'll spend the money and we'll move on from the situation. We showed yesterday we're good enough without him. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.